But look who stopped by today. It is the Super GT 2018 Series Champion for the GT3, GT300. It's today's What's in the Box. Hey everyone, and welcome to the garage for today's What's in the Box. And we're taking a look at the Leon Castillo's AMG kit from Tamiya. It's going to be the reissue of the very popular AMG GT3 kit from Tamiya that was initially released in 2017. This time, reissue, this time for the Super GT series as the 2018 series champion in the GT300. There are, going to be, there are going to be some new parts in this one, most notably the wheels and obviously the decals and what have you. So with that, let's jump into it and check it out. And now we'll get started with the body and you can see this one is molded in black compared to the first issue which was molded in gray. And now getting us started will be the main chassis parts, suspension tree. And then right on to the next parts tree. This one has body pieces, interior pieces, roll cage pieces. Front and rear bumpers. Yeah. Now we'll take a look at the rest of the interior parts tree, the suspension parts tree. Now let's take a look at the chrome parts tree, which is basically the grill, the headlight buckets, the headlight buckets, driving lights, that's about it. And the clear parts tree. And now we'll take a look at the uh, tires and the special race slick tires. Now finally the last bits to look at the window mask, front and rear windows, set of uh, mesh screen for the grill, the front grills. A set of uh, metal transfers, the mirror faces, and the emblems. The tire decals, the transfers, the tire transfer decals, the transfers. There we go, whatever. And the decal sheet. As you can see, you got to paint the body black, and it 
the decals take care of the rest. So that's going to about do it for this look at the Leon Castillo's AMG kit from Tamiya. Say this is one of to me is a very good kits, one of the better kits I should say. Really good kit. Basically, it builds itself. Great kit. The only issues I've had, is, and I know some of the people have too, is the, the with the tail lights, getting the tail light bucket and the outer tail light lens to fit right. It's one area that seems to have some issue, causes some issues for builders, me included. So on that note, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. <laughs>